in this third video we're going to look at how to get ahead in the game how to win material and some simple examples of how to finish off a game when you're ahead in material so now how do we win a drafts game so both players start with 12 identical pieces at the start so how do we actually get an advantage and win well there are two main ways to do that one is by positional squeezing and pressure so for example in this position here red can play let's move here which prevents white from being able to save this piece so that's a, that's a positional move white could try and go this way but still red red captures a piece so slow positional play is very important but also shots shots are tricks and tactics where you'll do what's called a two for one or a three for one or a three for two where you give away a smaller number of pieces to win a greater number of pieces so for example here red gives away one piece now these shots only work because of the of the mandatory which means you have to you must do it the mandatory uh, capture rule when a capture becomes available you have to capture now he can choose which one he wants to capture with but the end result won't be different so we gave away one piece and one two now now these two white pieces are further away but the same type of tactic still works here we give away one piece and he has to take it he's no choice and then we take two we might even have a more complicated version where we first draw this piece here so we give away a piece he has to capture then we give away another piece and he also has to capture now we're down two pieces but our final move will capture three pieces So that was a three for two. We gave two and we won three. This positional shape here is called an elbow because it looks like an elbow of an arm bent. Now red has the chance to win these two pieces by breaking open the the bend of the elbow by sacrificing this piece again white is stuck in the mandatory capture he has to capture and now red captures the two pieces the same idea works when the arm if you like is straight when there's three pieces together in a row like this and we have pressure against the three pieces and at the moment they're safe but if we can pop a hole in that line of three by forcing a capture then we win two pieces So I've added a king and queen versus king checkmate here for chess players just to show them how fundamental this end game here, two kings versus one king is for English drafts or checkers. All of the end game knowledge and theory in drafts is based on knowing that when you can get down to this position, you can win. So white has done the right thing by going to the double corner 
if they weren't in the double corner or they weren't on the highway then it's very easy to push the single king to the corner or to a single corner or the edge and now the game is over however if the king single king is on the highway and makes it to, makes it to the double corner the technique then will look like this the ki single king will try and stay in the double corner now the two kings will will back each other up now when the king moves we push our own king into the spare square in the double corner this takes away the shuffle square king is forced out here now our king in the double corner gets in behind takes away this square prevents him getting back to the double corner only square now is here now it's important not to rush to this move because this allows getting in through this way so we simply just step away and again he can't go here he has to go here now we step in now if he goes here we trap him on the edge here and if he goes here we can't go here because he'll slip out between us so if he goes back here we go here now we've taken away this square with this king and this square with this king and that's a win whichever move he makes we'll capture him an important end game technique to watch out for is a, is a trick and trap it's called the breach these two kings are now uh, open to attack from a breach where the white king can slip in here now neither of the two kings can capture the white king however the white king is now threatening to capture both of these pieces both of these kings so no matter which one gets moved the other one is captured and it's called a breach Now another similar sounding drafts word sounds like breach it's bridge and it's something quite different the bridge is the use of these two pieces on the back rank on the back row and for for white these two here and their ability to to prevent the other side from getting a king it's impossible for a single a single man to get in anywhere to get a king from any square when a, the bridge is in place now when when more than one piece comes it's possible to sneak in but it's quite tricky so these two pieces here or these two pieces here form what's called a bridge now to cover some basic opening principles it's usually a good idea to try to develop your single corner for both sides and this may involve trades equal trades which are fine it's important to watch out for careless moves in the opening that can lead to losing material here for example this blunders a piece here's a two for one forces a capture here and then white captures two and you're a piece down after only a few moves another useful opening plan is to not break up 
your pyramid too soon. So these six pieces here form a very solid triangle in your position. So white's one is over here and this should not be broken up too quickly as a rule. Secondly, you should look to try to maintain your double corner for as long as possible. Developing the single corner is solid, solid play and should be encouraged.